Let okay, me guys, welcome me. back this this morning on Metro Television. My name is Desmond Okrekuda, so you can call me Desi Faden. This time we're always here with Nana Yatano Baja. So we're going to have a conversation here, and this is um, a truly exciting one because we've got very, very young women who are impacting lives, and that is what this is all about, who are uplifting others, as we said, yeah. for inspirational code for the morning. And this morning we've been joined in the studio by, you know, she's Ghanaian, you know, she is a, a presenter also. She does a lot of things. She's the executive director of Obasima, and she is Amma Pratt. She joins us this morning. And also, all the way from Kenya, the youngest. In fact, she got appointed. I was talking to her about it. She got appointed into, you know, government position at the age of 29. 29. That was like 2020. And she has joined us uh, this morning. She is Nadia Hagmed. Abdallah, she is the deputy or the youngest deputy minister in Kenya and the deputy minister for um, ICT innovation and youth affairs. Good morning, ladies. You're welcome. So we have an honourable. Yes, <laughs> I'm <laughs> yes. yes. honourable. All the way from Kenya, Kenya. Yeah. and yes. another beautiful lady yes. joining us on set. In fact, you know what? I am I am really lucky because I've got beautiful women with me this morning. So my week is done. Yeah, my week is going to be great. You've got your birthday gift. Yeah. Period. Yeah. True. Yeah. Period. True. Are you welcome to our, our set? Thank you. Thank you You're very good. much. I'm good. I'm I'm well. How's God treating you? Ah, uh, so far so good. Mm. Amma has been taking care of me very well. Okay. I had Ghana jollof yesterday. Have you just said anything? Say it. Oh, it, it was Jalof. amazing. Thank you. It was amazing. See, we compare. By a certain standard. I tell you. <laughs> like that standard, ours is room. And the other one is yeah. very low. It's just there. It, it's just there. <laughs> some, something like that. It's, it's your first time here? No, this is my third time. Third time mm. in, in Ghana. And yes. still on the, I mean, with the position yes. as a government official. Yes. Okay. I, wow. I came to Ghana the first time last year in October okay. for the Youth Connect Summit. Mm. Um, and then after that, of course, I made contacts that's what you should do and you know you're young make yeah. sure you make contacts then i came back in january and that's how i met Amma. Amma. and okay. i made her a promise and said i will come for the obasim summit obasima <laughs> summit. Yes. summit and yeah. here i am okay wow great, great to have you w was the dream always to be in government no okay <laughs> so i i never aspired to be in government. I knew that I wanted to be bigger than myself. In fact, my goal is to be the Secretary General of the United Nations. Wow. Um, but you know, as I always say, when you manifest something and you work towards it, God might not give you what you want, but he'll actually take you to a spot yeah. that you'll mm. actually be able to get what, what you, you want. want. And so yeah. one thing led to another from community work and being very passionate about young people and women. Um, I found myself in government. Wow. And I'm loving it. You're loving it. Yes, I'm loving it. So you're encouraging us to also yes. move forward to, I mean... You have to, you have to own spaces in government because you have to understand the policies. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, so let's get into it. Yeah. I mean, this summit brings about women uh, with high repute and uh, one roof comparing and impacting into mm. generations. And mm. um, like, I've been watching her like mm -hmm. since, <laughs> since... But then, how did the initiative start? So, I mean, we started this in 2019. Um, the plan was to have all women in a room having meaningful conversations about ourselves, about our difficulties, and most importantly, how to make progress, how to change things around. You know how we, we tend to complain? Yeah. But then, so let's complain together. Together. And then let's think about how we can, we can, we can make things better. So, so that's how it started. Mm -hmm. But over the years, it's taken on different, you know, umbrellas. And so now we are moving into campuses. That wasn't part of the original plan. That's mm -hmm. not how we started. Mm -hmm. We started with just a summit. Mm -hmm. But in the next year, we moved into the campuses because we realized that one day is not enough for mm -hmm. us, sure. you know. Mm -hmm. And so we are moving around the campuses. Um, in the past couple of years, we've been from greater Accra to northern region, moving everywhere, yeah. you know. Um, there are still a few campuses that we still need to go to. So we are okay. moving around with that conversation. This year, thankfully, we've been able to get into the markets as well. Wow. So that's another, you know, um, thing that we've brought yeah. on. So we are trying to reach all women all demographics. Women. Yeah. All women. Listen, very soon we are in your church. Hey. <laughs> yeah. That would be great. I mean, um, it's not just about the young girls that you've been speaking to to empower them, but 
their mothers, their yeah. aunties, they all need yeah. to renew yeah. their, yeah. their yeah. minds as to what exactly yeah. they want their young girls to achieve one day. But the name of Besma, I know this one, lots of Kenyans may be watching us. Uh, it's <laughs> about, about the name of Besma. I mean, it's the ideal woman, a woman of substance. Mm. It's Nadia, right? Mm. It, it, yeah. It's Nadia. And, and I have to say this. When I interacted with Nadia, you know, of course, youngest minister in Kenya, so, you know, I was excited, we had our interview, but there are a few things that just, you know, stood out for me. It's, it's her passion. You know, oftentimes people get opportunities, and once they get opportunities, that's it. For a lot of my, and I'm not saying minorities in terms of numbers, because women, we are more than the men, yeah. but in terms of our place, you know, when one person gets through that door, they want to shut that door mm. and be the only one. And mm, you know, yeah. but I see Nadia, and she's reaching out. You know, and she's doing it in the most gracious way, using her youth as power, mm -hmm. using her gender as power, and that's what we want to see. Yeah. I keep saying this. For me, she's the embodiment of everything we've been talking about since mm. we started Obama. Yeah. Okay. You know, we want the young lady to see Nadia. We want the young lady to know that hey, it's possible. Yeah and hey, I can achieve it. And so for me, if she just sits down at Obasuma <laughs> and doesn't talk and doesn't move, <laughs> you know, the message has been put out yeah. there. She, uh, that's it for me. Like to see that at 20 something, mm -hmm. an African woman mm -hmm. is a minister. Yeah. It, I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> so still on the, on the summit though, how long has this been running? And you know, what are some of the, the positives, the highs that you have attained? And of course, a lot of um, challenges do come in yeah. with yes. projects like this. You can yes. share with us. I mean, we don't have all day <laughs> for the challenges. Yeah. There's a lot of challenges. <laughs> but there's also a lot of um, success. Mm. You know, I'm grateful to Town Palace over the years. They've hosted us. But this year, we are branching out into the National Theatre. It's okay. our first time wow. in, in such a you know, um, f thank you, Nadia, like a, <laughs> such a monumental space, but mm. also for what it is, the national yeah. theater. Yeah, for me, yeah. it makes a statement. It's yeah. not just about the numbers. It's also about the place itself. Yeah. It makes a statement, true, true. you know. And, of course, we've been able to get, you know, Nadia here this year. But it's just that it's the impact. It's the messages I get in my DM, mm -hmm. you know. It's the feedback I get, you know, from people. Yeah. It's even parents. There's a man that reached out to me and he said, you know, the way that his young daughters sort of um, live for the replays on TV. Like, they don't miss it. Yeah. And so it's not just about what happens in that, on that in campus, that space, in that yeah. space. It's also the fact that people are interested enough to want to sit down and listen and watch. And was it last week we were in um, the UMB office to be the CEO because he's one of the speakers. And I'm just by the lift, there's this, you know, tough-looking guy in suit. And as soon as I come out of the lift, he's like, and I'm like, oh, wow. Because we need the men <laughs> to yeah. catch on. Yeah. 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 Without the men, this is going to be hard. Because yeah. it's, it's a society. Exactly. It's all of us. Yeah. We all need to catch on to this for, for what we are doing to be yeah. meaningful. So for me, the success is the impact. Okay. You know, and, and I can't say thank you to everybody and to God you know, okay. enough. I mean, yeah. the, you, you mentioned not Nadia will be a speaker. Absolutely. Other, other ones. Yeah, yes. But I want to ask Nadia. Yes. I know you say it's there, you <laughs> telling us, mm. but I want, to, I want you to also tell our viewers, ladies that are watching, why do you think ladies are stepping up to take the mantle, to take the bull by its horn? Mm. What is the problem? Why aren't women doing that? Um, and I think this is something I discussed with her yesterday as soon as I arrived. I think, um, you know, the foundation of African women, we've been mm. made to believe that you have to be sorry for your success. Mm. You have to be mm. very subtle. You have to be humble. Yes. Um, because, you know, if you're not, then you're actually doing something wrong. So for the longest time, women have actually been achieving things. And I'm yeah. not only talking about in the corporate or the government. Yeah. I'm also talking about in the house because even raising children, raising all of us, we're all raised by women. women yeah. um, but the credit is not given. And the reason why it's not given, it's because we don't go for it. And so one of the things I want to tell the viewers is that it's about time we stop being humble. And I'm not saying we be cocky or egoistic, <laughs> but own our spaces yeah. and let us be felt and the impact be understood. You see, the other parties, people don't understand the impact of women, women yeah. especially African women, because it's, it's how it is. 
So I want us to be gracious in whatever we're doing, mm -hmm. but also be very assertive yeah. in knowing that we can actually do this and we're capable of doing it. And that's why I came. One, because I committed, but two, because I want, and, and for me it's a Pan-African approach, and I yeah. told her, I want African women to now take on the mantle without asking for permission. Mm -hmm. We don't need to ask for permission anymore. You take it yeah. and do it and own it. I like that. Okay. You don't need to ask for permission. <laughs> take the mantle, take the move by its that, that, That's, and that's true, it. and I love what you said. And she, she mentioned, you know, um, meeting, meeting a, a man who was, you know, talking about yeah. it. I know this whole concept about yes. empire women, yeah. um, sometimes it gets somewhere when it comes to the men <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. so what, what 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 do you have to say also to to the men out there yeah. about you know yeah I, jumping on this trust me what i would say is men need to stop seeing women empowerment as a way for us to disqualify them from their manhood mm. It's really about complimenting them. You see, right now, talk about anything in any household, because of how life is also very hard, we are sharing roles. So if we can share roles in specific places, in the domestic places, why can't we also share roles when it comes to empowering one another? Because if you support your sister, your wife, your girlfriend, your mother, you can definitely support her in other things that will also complement you. Mm. I tell men to look at the Women March support as an investment because you are supporting her, you are investing in her, which means that when things now go wrong for you, you're, she's then also able to pull you up and rope you in. So it's not about us uh, clearing out the other gender because we do need men. We do mm. need men to, to survive. We do need men to coexist, to create, um, to also build. But at this point, we need them to understand that it's a unit we are creating. So if your woman or your sister is, is more powerful than you, it doesn't mean that you're less of a man. It just means that you've empowered her enough to be your insurance when things go wrong. That's great to hear. I mean, on social media, a lot of these things happen. You know, <laughs> you know, thoughts. Mm. I appreciate radicalism, which is what you are speaking about. Yeah. You know, the, the feminist who's like, hey, mm. you know, I appreciate that. But mm. for me, the question always is, in this moment, you know, is that what is needed to turn things around? Because yeah. there, there have been times when that's what's needed. Yeah. And when it comes to that time, let's say, yeah. you know, but I always ask the question, um, is that what it is now? For me, personally, right now, we are at a collaborative stage mm. where it is about our development, yeah, all of us as men and women. Because I say this all the time, if the man is empowered and the woman is not, we are running on half tank, yeah. mm. right? Because that's, the responsibility is all on him now. Yeah. That's mm. too much responsibility for you to shoulder. If I'm sitting right here and I'm capable, so why not, you know, let me have yeah. some of that. So we share this. Building a society is not easy, especially for us as Africans. Mm. We have a lot more to do. So if we have, the, the, the human resource yeah. that can achieve it with us. Why ask in Ghana, for instance, more than 50%, 51% and more to relax so that you do the work? When I'm here yeah. and willing, enable, enable. Yeah. So for me, it's about all of us appreciating that. It's about our collective Collect development. Yeah. We, we get there faster yeah. if we hold our hands and move together. Instead of saying, you stay behind, let me go. No. I'm not incapacitated. <laughs> I'm not unwilling. You I want to do. do. <laughs> so just okay. let's do. Let's yeah. build. Yeah. That, that's, that's my attitude to women yeah. empowerment. Uh, like, I can't wait. How do we book a seat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me give you Ivan's number. Okay. Um, Anyone Ivan watching? is our, 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 okay. our project you know, um, coordinator director. Mm -hmm. That's 27 Four three zero okay. nine zero nine nine. Okay, so zero two seven four three zero four three zero nine zero nine zero nine nine. Listen, nine it's nine. absolutely free. It's free. Free. It's free. Oh, okay. Free. You pay nada. It's free. <laughs> you just need to book it. We know you, we are ladies. Come yes. on, we like to do yes. our things. Oh, you know, <laughs> you don't just see it. So <laughs> just I'm book just it. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's just book hall, yeah. book your seat. So yeah. when you come, you know that there's a seat for you. You don't want a stampede. You don't yeah. want yeah. this orderliness, you know. Um, so yeah. the day, the time? 16th mm -hmm. of June. June. Okay. That's Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Thursday, mm. just Thursday. Thursday. We start at 4. There's a job fair at okay. 4 o'clock, mm. you know. 
come into the foyer, mm -hmm. we are bringing all of these brands that mm -hmm. have, we've been associated with over the years. Yeah. You know, they are going to mount stands, present your CV, ask direct questions. What is it about my CV that's not allowing me to secure a job? If okay. I present the that's CV to you, yeah. you know, what it is yeah. that I've, I'm not doing right? Now, if I sit across from you in an interview and you ask me this question, what are you expecting? Right? Mm. How do I have an edge over all the thousands of other applicants, applicants that yeah. are also waiting, you know, in line? So direct conversations. How do I get an internship with your company? What's the process? Mm. And once I secure that internship, how do I make it permanent? You yeah. know, and all their HR reps are going to be there. Okay. And they are happy and willing to so, answer your questions. I mean, true. if you don't come, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So first so that you starts you before the main four, summit. Four, that's four p.m. That's from four to six. The four main six. summit starts yeah. at six. six. This year, we've been going around with mentors like the chair for UNESCO. You'd love to meet mm -hmm. him. Um, like the AT, ATL um, um, manager, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> marketing manager. Forgive me, Petra. Marketing manager, Petra. Uh, Baba Kofi. You know, um, Madam Joyce Bauer. Oh, you know, um, yeah. the eight to our former president. Yeah. Also, Madam Tangoba um, Abayate. She's a former ambassador to Italy. Yeah. So okay. all these amazing, great women that we've been going around the campuses with, they are going to be seated, you know, in a panel. So if you've gone and practiced any of the things they've taught us this whole year and you're having some challenges, throw it at them. Wow. You know, if you've gone and thought about something they said and you have a question, so that's just going to be a, a you okay. know, question and answer yeah. session. Yeah. Before we come to the section with our main speakers, our main speakers are four. We have Mr. Edward Annan, owner, mm -hmm. co-founder, Passion Air. Mm -hmm. He's going to tell us how to create wealth, because she is important yeah, as women. Very important. Yeah, financial yeah. power. Very, very important. So as yeah. women, it's very important. Yeah. So yeah. even lead that conversation, how to branch into uncharted waters, mm -hmm. spaces that you haven't thought about. Yeah. Mm. How do you go into an airline business in Ghana with no experience? You know, so he's going to mm. talk about that. Yeah. They're going to have the CEO of um, UMB Bank tell us how you distinguish your brand in a field that's mainstream. Everybody's in banking. How yeah. do you distinguish yours? How do you make okay. yourself stand out? Mm -hmm. You're going to have the MD of Guinness Ghana, uh, Madame Helen Wisi. Wow. She's going to speak about the progressive portrayal of women. At corporate, mm -hmm. what are the policies? Mm -hmm. If somebody is sexually harassing me, uh, you know, what, what, what yeah. do I do? Yeah. How do you portray yourself progressively as a woman? Of course, you know, my favorite, <laughs> drum roll, Nadia. Nadia is going to lead the conversation on opportunities. As a young woman, how do yeah. you position for yourself. opportunities? What do you do with opportunities once they present? You know, I'm excited to listen. I I'm mean, excited. Uh, listening to, to this already, uh, it's going to be a very, a very, <laughs> yes. very great program. So yeah. to all the ladies and of course the gents, you're w welcome. Yeah. We are welcome, right? Yes. Yes, yes are welcome too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're there, we're there to, to support. Oh, yes. Like, uh, I'm a say, we are working as a collective. Yeah. And if you don't support... Oh, we'll uh, be there. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. Nadia, we've got to wrap up. Finally, <laughs> anything you've got to add? Um, mine is to just say that we need to support one another and we need to be unapologetic at it. In Kenya, they know me for being a disruptor, being unapologetic, <laughs> but at the same time, following the rule of law. Yeah. Mm. And, and so that's what we need to do. And so, you know, for me, fr coming from Kenya and coming to Ghana, this itself shows how I'm positioning myself, but also the women in Ghana to be able to understand what things are being done in the East and how we can incorporate that with the West. Wow. And like I told Ama, as a woman, anywhere you go, 90% of the conversation should be about you pitching to, your, to someone who you're talking to. Every conversation, as much as yes, we want to talk about beauty and everything, but it's all about <laughs> how are you making financial progress with your own brand that you're in. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. I'm a proud to the executive director of Obasima. Obasima, yeah. And also Honorable Nadia, Nadia. Ahmed Abdallah, the deputy minister for uh, Youth Affairs, Innovation and ICT. Yeah. Yes. In Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it for the morning. <laughs> My name is Just Wanna Crickle. As you can call me, dissipating the stamp when I was there with. Then I had to know what she.